situation, a bad situation, but I'm coming to tell you right now, in spite of what you went through, God woke you up this morning. And God woke you up this morning, and you got up out of bed this morning, and you got in your car, or got on your bike, and you got here this morning. So that lets me know already, you've already overcome that thing that God took you out. Turning your Bibles to the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse number 28. We give God praise for the ministry of music. We give God praise for Sister Alexandria. We give God praise for everyone who has participated in the worship opportunity. We give God praise for you being here on this morning at a place you go to grow. We give God praise. We're going to immediately after service, we're going to go to each biker out there. We're going to pray touch and agree with you, the spirit of protection and provision. I don't care if it takes hours. We're going to make sure we personally touch every bike that has showed up on this morning because we love you and we care about you. Living a worry-free life. Give God one more shout of praise and you're praising now for what's about to happen. Uh, somebody's life is going to be changed on today. Book of Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 28. Stand at the reading of God's word. Let's stand at the reading of God's word. Matthew, chapter 11, verse number 28. I'll be reading from the NIV and the Message Bible. Remain standing to the duration of the reading of God's word because it's life changing. The writer says here in verse number 28 Come to me. All who are weary uh -huh. and burdened, yes. and I will give you rest. Yeah. Uh -huh. but, but I love the way the Message Bible puts it. Verse 28 to 30 in the Message Bible. Listen to this. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. Worn out? Okay. Burnt out? Come, on, Come to me. Yes, sir. Get away with me. And I'll recover your life. Yes, sir. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Yes, okay. Walk yes, with me. Yes, and work with me. Yes. Watch how I do it. Yes. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. Yes. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Yes. Keep company with me. Yes, sir. And I'll learn to, and you'll learn to live freely yes. and lightly. Give God one more shot of praise for his word to take your seat. Living a worry-free life. I know some of you are saying right now, that is totally ridiculous. There is no way I can live a worry-free life in the human realm. There's no way I can live in this economy. There's no way I can be married. There's no way I can have children. There's no way I can have a job and not have worries. Well, well, I'm coming to tell you on this morning, being worried up is a choice. You are choosing to worry because the word of God has given you a proposal of how to cancel your worry. So, so I'm telling you right now, if you're worried about your finances, if you're worried about your marriage, if you're worried about your children, if you're worried about your health situation, I don't want to I don't want to minimize your situation, but every minute you spend worrying, that's a minute you just waste it. Because worry does not do anything to solve your situation. So why spend time worrying about something when worry is not the solution? If I was you, I would start working on the solution and cancel worry. Uh, you, I know the world will, will ambush you with problems. Because problems are designed to keep you unfocused. Because every time a problem shows up, it takes my eyes off of what God is able to do. But I want to flip it on problems. Every time a problem shows up, that's really an opportunity for God to show you who he is. Oh, I had somebody in here. Has anybody in here ever dealt with a major crisis? I mean, you've ever dealt with something that you thought it was going to take you out? You thought
thought it was going to end your marriage, end your situation, end your finances? Have you ever felt like you yeah. on your dying bed? Have you ever felt like it was all over when he walked out on you or he fired you? Anybody ever been in a dark situation, a bad situation? But I'm coming to tell you right now, in spite of what you went through, God woke you up this morning. And God woke you up this morning and you got up out of bed this morning and you got in your car or got on your bike and you got here this morning. So that lets me know already you've already overcome that thing that thought it took you out. That thing that thought it wiped you out. You overcame it just by showing up this morning. God is showing up. So why are you worried about what's next? When God has already done something amazing in your life already. Because somebody who went through what you went through did not get up. Somebody faced the same giant you faced and they gave up. But you but you, but you, you didn't give up, you didn't quit, you didn't throw in the towel, you hung in there until God showed up, and when God showed up, God showed up, do I have a witness in here, is there anybody in here, you overcame sickness, you overcame depression, you overcame addiction, you overcame madness, you overcame sadness, is there anybody in the house that can testify how good God is? So we're in this opening text of living a worry-free life. I see a proposal and a promise. The proposal simply is this. Jesus says, come. Come. Uh -huh. He says, come. Uh -huh. Proposal, he says, come. Yeah. Meaning I can't stay stuck. You burning this morning? Yeah, in my worries. But, but I have a part to play. Nope. Yes, God is going to work it out. Yes, God is going to do what God does. God specializes in miracles. God specializes in bringing people out. God specializes in bringing people through. But the key is, I got to first come. Meaning, I got a part to play. I got to quit worrying and whining and complaining. And I got to get up and come. He says, come. come. Uh -huh. I dare you to come. Those who are worried. Come. Those who are weary. Come. Those who are burned out. Come. Those who've been lied on. Come. Those who've been cheated on. Come. Those who've been mistreated. Come. Those who've been talked about. Come. Those who've been given up on. Come. Those who've been walked out on. Come. Those who've been stabbed in the back. Come. Those who are mothers and fathers. Those who don't see a way out, he says, I dare you to come. I dare you to get up right now and come. I dare you to stop worrying about what you don't have and just get up and come. He says, come. Come, come. Don't do nothing else, just come. Yeah. Why you bleeding, come. Why you crying, come. Why you broke, come. Why you mad, come. Why you high, come. Why you drunk, come. Why you dysfunctional? Come. Come, you got a lip. Come, you got a bomb a ride. Come, you got a hop there. No matter what it takes to get there, I dare you to get up and make your mind up. I'm not going to stay stuck in this situation. I'm not going to die right here. Whatever it takes, I'm going to get the faith to get up. And if he says, come. So if he says, come, I got to come. That's the point. He says, come. He says, come. Yeah. So what ain't going to happen if you ain't came yet? Yeah. 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 I want me a wifey, but you don't PlayStation six hours a day. You, you, you can't wipe up 
up if you're with your boys all the time. You got at least come on a date. You got at least come on a job. Come on. Come on. Nobody gonna ring your doorbell and knock on your door and say, I got a job for you. You got to just come to the interview process. Come, come, your focus is come, come, action on my book. Then, then the promise, the promise. I say, promise. But then once I come, he says, I will give you rest. But don't stop. He said, I will give you real rest. See, we've been digging, we've been resting. But, but if you ever went to bed, and woke up tired. Because even though you laid down, you didn't lay down your words. Even though you got in the bed, you didn't leave your words at the altar. You took your words to bed with you. So your words had you having nightmares. So you woke up tired, woke up sweat, woke up anxious, woke up jittery. Because you didn't really have real rest. But I come to sit. You free on this morning. You will sleep like a baby. You will have real rest. I know a man is able to take away all your nightmares. I know a man is able to take away all your pain, all your frustration. Baby, you getting ready to sleep. You getting ready to look like you've been in a fight with Mike Tyson when he was 19 years old. He gonna knock you out. You going to sleep for real today. You gonna have some real rest. Anybody ready to rest, 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 rest? And then he, as we get ready to close, then he says, he says, he says, you are now Peter. Remember in the beginning, the world was dark. He didn't touch it, he spoke to it. He told Simon, you are now Peter. He didn't tell Peter, Simon, come here, let me lay my hands on you. He simply spoke newness into an old situation. And Peter had the boldness to walk in his newness. What am I saying right now? I'm telling you right now, you wait no thunder to roar. You wait no light in the flash. That ain't how God operates. God ain't going to shut down the world to bless you right now. What God is going to do is send a word. Because that's what Jesus gave Peter was a word. Is there anybody here and you need a word? Let me bless you as I leave you. You're just one word away from your miracle. You're just one word away from your deliverance. You're just one word away from your healing. You're just one word away from your breakthrough. You're just one word away from your destiny. You just one word, one word, one word. But let me bless you as I leave you. You can't get the word if you consume my worry. And that's why I'm telling you right now, cancel your worry with the word. Cancel your worry with the word. Cancel your worry with the word. Tell your neighbor, cancel your worry with the word. Because the word says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The word says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The word says, even though my enemy comes in to slay me, I shall not be defeated. The word says, I am more than a conqueror. The word says, I am an overcomer. The word says, what can separate me from the love of Jesus? Nothing shall separate me from the love of God. The word says, I, I shall not die, but I shall live. The word says, when your mother and father forsake you, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. The word says, he gave sight to the blind. The word says, he turned water into wine, so he can turn your stuff upside down. I, I gave my word to the devil, and I got me a word, anybody here, and you got a word, a word to set you free, is there anybody here, baby daddy drama, baby mama drama, funny funny, you don't need nothing else, you don't need nothing but a word, because the word says, when I show up, I'm gonna show up, I wish I had somebody, I wish I had somebody that had a 
relationship with the word. And when you were down and out, you were ready to throw in the towel. You were ready to give up. You were ready to shut it down. But then you got a word. You got a word. You felt like Lazarus. You were dead for a long time. You felt like Lazarus. Your life was stinky. Everybody gave up on you. And everybody walked away from you. But then the word, the word, the word showed up. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was with God. And the word became flesh. And the word says Lazarus. I dare you to insert your name right there. The word says Lazarus. Lazarus, come out of there. And ain't nobody touch the boulder. Ain't nobody go to the grave. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when the word went out, Lazarus got up and Lazarus came out. There is a word in this house and it just went forward. It's calling your name. It's saying, come and I will give you rest. Come and I will give you abundant life. Come and I will give you news of life. Come, 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 come. work on the inside. Thank you, Lord. They're bringing this net out. Come to Bible verse preaching. Jesus told Peter. Yes, yeah, yeah, Jesus told Peter. Yes. I don't have no time to tell you about this, but Peter messed up even after even after he became a new creature, he still he still messed up, uh-huh. When he messed up, he went back to his old ways. But when Jesus Got about the grave. He said, Go get my disciples and Peter. And Peter. Why he say and Peter? Because Jesus knew them church folks wouldn't call people. Them church folks fuck. When you mess up, they forget they know your name. So Jesus says, Go get my disciples and Peter. Because even if you mess up, God didn't forget your name. Then he told Peter, I need you to go and preach. I need you to go and lay down the nets and become fisherman of men. And that's what I am. I'm a fisherman of men. So we lay these nets out. And we say crazy stuff like come. Come just as you are. I, I don't care what you smell like right now. I don't care what you look like right now. I don't care what you been through like. I don't care if, 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 if you went to bed last night with somebody that was not your husband, was not your wife, and you walked away to in the house. Come, come, come. I don't care what you are. Who you, come right? Come, come right. Because he says, come unto Jesus, just as you are. Man, man, I. This not commercial. This reality. I would love. To become your people, yes, Lord. Yes. your man of God, yes. that will give you a word yes. to redirect your life. My God, my God. As they sing this song, won't you come? You come first to get the Jesus, not not to me. Not it is ain't nothing about me. Because you come to get the Jesus, and secondly, you come for Jesus. Then you come for to unite with this ministry, this place we call a greenhouse international church. You come. And thirdly, you come if you want to pray with you and for you. I don't care if you ride or back it out, but you want you want me to pray with you right now at this altar. You come. You come. We're gonna pray on the outside. If you want to pray right now, you come, we'll pray with you and for you. We would love to receive you into this ministry we call members here gladiators. Then we win at every cost. And more importantly, you come to Jesus just as you are. If they sing this song, won't you come? Won't you come? My God is awesome. Strength where I've been weak. Yeah. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Can we say it right now? Turn it up, my God. Yeah. He can move 
Yeah. Come on, act like you don't know. 